Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. We're doing a foundation day. We're doing a foundation day because there is, there's another foundation that was just recently released and it is the new Fenty Soft Lit Foundation. So if you guys are new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions, unfiltered everything, unfiltered in the unfiltered series, go check that out, and honest reviews. So if you guys like content like that, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on your notifications, and leaving me a comment down below. If you don't know what to comment, just leave the little heart eye emojis or a sun, because this is supposed to give me like a lit from within glow. Apparently, it's supposed to. Today, guys, we're gonna do a full day wear test of the new Fenty foundation. This is the Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Long Wearing Foundation. <clears throat> yeah, so she was a pretty penny. She was $40. So I have tried some of the other like Fenty foundations. I had the Each Drop Skin Tint Stick. Did not like that particularly much. It just didn't work for me. But I wanted to try this one because it's supposed to make me look like the sun has like kissed my face and I'm supposed to look like glowy and pretty, I guess. I don't, I don't know. The shade that I have is 110, just so you guys know, but I'm going to read to you what this does and how it works. So the shade 110 is a cool pink, by the way, cool pink. So it's supposed to be hydrating, long wearing, medium coverage, a liquid formula. It is a black owned brand, obviously, because I mean, it's owned by, you know, Rihanna. And it is supposed to be waterproof. It is sa It says, it's a hydrating and glowy foundation that's waterproof and reduces shine for a notch above natural finish. It is a natural medium coverage and it is long wearing that gives a golden hour glow in a bottle. It hydrates, brightens, and improves the look of skin tone immediately and over time while resisting sweat, humidity, and transfer. So it is supposed to be like 75 degrees today on the day that I am filming this. So this is going to be a good day for me to be able to test and see if it is like waterproof. And so this is a good day to do a foundation wear test, I feel. It is a good day. According to the instructions on how to use this, it says that you need to have moisturized skin before applying, shake before use. If you want medium coverage, apply one pump of the foundation to the back of your hand and then dib, dib, <laughs> dib, dip a damp precision makeup sponge into the product and begin applying at the center of your face or whatever coverage is desired, pressing the foundation into the skin and blending outward. For full coverage, apply one to two pumps directly onto a foundation brush and then blend to your desired coverage and you can actually build it up. I'm putting this not on the back of my hand because I don't like doing that. I don't like putting product on the back of my hand. So we're gonna use my translucent foundation plate today. You can actually buy these on like Shein for like a dollar and I like foundation plates better because it doesn't absorb into my skin on the back of my hand. It just it just works a lot better and personally I just don't like getting makeup like all over my body like it just it doesn't work well for me. I am gonna pin back my hair because it is kind of like wispy and you know all over the place today. Medusa is Medusa-ing today. To give you guys a little bit of background on me, I am 35 years old. I have what people refer to as mature skin because of my age. And I am a very fair with cool undertones, which means that I kind of pull more cool toned in my skin. I don't have yellow undertones at all. Yellow just doesn't look good on me at all. It makes me look sour and sick. So I'm not a warm toned person. I'm definitely a cool toned person. Today when we are filming this, I am actually going to be putting on just a little bit of like hyaluronic acid because I've been having allergies and around my nose is like really, 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 really crusty. So we are having a little bit of a problem area in here, but it's actually a good way to test if this foundation is going to cling to some of my problem areas or not. Like around my nose, my nose is just a little bit rubbed raw today because of allergies and life. So while I'm also telling you guys more about like my problem areas, I'm just going to put on some hyaluronic acid to plump my skin. But I do also have some fine lines and I also have some like freckles and age spots like right in here and I do have fine lines underneath my eyes. 
So I do have some fine lines like here and here and I do have a little bit of like texturization around my eyes as well like right in here. There's just a little bit of texture there. Depending on the foundation, it can actually accentuate the texture around my eyes more or it will blur it and make it look fantastic. Like I just did another foundation wear test video of the Urban Decay Face Bond. Go check that one out after you watch this one, of course. But that one is definitely like we did a whole wear test with that one and that one did accentuate like right in here really bad. I also am having some like blemishes up in here. It's just like normal blemishes and I do have some like deeper like wrinkles. I do have some fine lines up in here as well. So that's pretty much like about my skin. Um, Like today the weather outside like I said it's going to be 73 degrees. It's going to be nice. It's going to be possibly just a little bit too what's the best term? I feel like it's going to be maybe just a little bit too wet outside. Um, not wet, but moisturizing. It's going to be moisturizing outside. It's definitely going to be one of those days where it's good to test a foundation because it's going to be like perfect weather conditions where it's sunny. It is going to be 75 degrees, so I might sweat a little bit. And basically my skin is feeling decently balanced other than around my nose where I've been rubbed a little bit raw. I am going to take just a little bit of my SPF and I'm going to put this on my skin as well because I'm going to be wearing this outside and please don't forget your SPF. The SPF that I have is the Toti Solera SPF from Sofia Vergara. I have found that this mineral sunscreen just really helps my skin uh, block UV rays even though it's only for like 80 minutes but it typically doesn't cling anywhere funny it isn't oily so it doesn't actually put like oil onto my skin so hopefully that will not mess with the foundation but we're going to apply this foundation like we would on a normal day because I am wearing SPF because my skin is getting older and I want to protect it from the sun and you'll see it doesn't really leave like a white cast at all it just it just, it has a little bit of a tint to it, so it won't leave a white cast, but it doesn't really add any coverage. It's just adding SPF to my skin, which is what I need today because we're going to be outside. And we're going to, it said one to two, but I'm going to just start with like one. The shade that I have is number 110, which is supposed to be a fair, cool shade, which I think that's a good match for me because I am super pasty pale like every day of the week. And this is made for super pasty pale people. So we have about, I want, I want to say about a, a pump and a half because, you know, it's empty and like, you know, pumping it on there. But I'm just going to shear this out on my foundation plate and we're going to slowly stipple this in. I'm using the Singe Beauty F01 foundation brush and this is a very like smaller detailed foundation brush. I like it because it works so well on my skin, being able to get the product really like right into the creases and crevasses. We have one side that's completely coated in the foundation. The other side obviously is not. I mean obviously you guys can see like it covers the red but overall this is this is my skin and from a distance this is really pretty. Really pretty. Um, I'm just noticing that me actually like stippling and then rubbing this into my skin it actually really created a lot of texture on my skin that wasn't there before and I don't know why so it definitely created a like a little bit of texture on my skin especially in here and it's not adhering the way that I would want it to on camera it looks really nice but in person it's just it looks kind of funny on my skin like it's definitely having some clinging issues and that could be the SPF <sighs> this is me coming back to you guys with an update on putting the <laughs> putting the SPF on my face. It didn't work with this. So the SPF is probably quite possibly just not good for the the foundation. I just don't think it worked really well. Having like hyal hyaluronic acid on and like letting it sit into the skin. I've never had an issue doing that. We're not going to put SPF on today. You would think that with this being like, come on, Rihanna, like, couldn't you put SPF in this so that I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, sun damage? All right. So, reapplying the hyaluronic acid. 
Now we're going to go in with my tried and true power gripping primer. This is the one that I use with every single foundation wear test. It creates a really nice sticky tacky base for that foundation to cling to. It has a cooling effect. So like when I'm having a lot of redness on my face, it actually helps like settle it down. And this also creates like that sticky tacky base where like your foundation clings. And I feel like I get a longer wear time with this base. And it's also very moisturizing. Now, the packaging did say that if you want to use a sponge, you can use a sponge for like a lighter coverage, a lighter medium, and if you want to build it up with a brush. So we're going to do one pump first is what it it says to use with a brush. And then we're going to go in with my F1 from Singe Beauty, and I'm just going to start tapping this into the skin and really just putting it into the skin. We're going to see how this like sets. And it is really a good shade match for me. And you can tell that it is because once you cancel out all the redness that I have in my face, it's like, oh, like you actually have very pasty pale skin. So if you guys haven't seen the Urban Decay Face Bond video with like the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation, definitely go check that one out. It's another like summer foundation release. And it's summer we're in may it's not summer quite yet but it's definitely one of those foundations that was like meant for summer because it had those uh, like, summer foundation and this one has like those benefits that you want because it's it's it feels lightweight on the skin so this is what we're looking at just in the camera with like the layer that we have on i'm actually going to take a beauty sponge and like press this in very gently because i just feel like Every single time that I use a foundation brush, it doesn't matter what kind of foundation brush it is, it just tends to like get streaky on my face. And this is a really thick formula, so like it works well with a brush, but I like to use a sponge sometimes to just like make sure that the product is looking nice on my skin and that it's like not having any like streaky moments because, I mean, let's face it, I don't want streaks on my face. I really don't. I just feel so, I feel so pasty pale, but I love how luminous I look like under the lights and I will do a natural light look as well so you guys can see what it looks like in natural light, but this is super pretty. Like it definitely covered my redness. It does match my skin tone. It's not settling into anything funny up here and it is looking really, really nice. Like, I feel very luminous, and it kind of feels like my skin. In camera, it looks like my skin. So we're going to do this. We only have one pump. If I add another pump, I will let you guys know. But we're going to just generously apply this to my face. So I am noticing that the more that I, like, sheer it out and then just, like, really airbrush this on, it is going on a lot better. So keep that in mind when you use this product because I had a lot of product on this side, and I know I did. So I am going to do, like, a half a pump just to make everything, like, coverage-wise even. But I'm noticing that as I sheer it out on my plate and just, like, sheer it out like this, that it really does, like, apply better. So... Especially with like the streaks and stuff. I don't see as much like streakiness on my face as what I did on the other side because it wasn't as much product that I was dipping into. So a little bit does go a very long way. I honestly could have done like a half a pump covered this side of my face, a half a pump and covered this side of my face and it would have been more like a medium coverage and it probably wouldn't have gotten the streaks that I did. But I just kind of went like gung-ho with everything and I was like, let's just try all right, y'all, here is the completed makeup look with the new Fenty Soft Filter. Soft Filter, Soft Lit, what's it called again? Here's the completed look with the Fenty Soft Lit Foundation. Now, I did want to tell you guys like all of the stuff that I put on my face just in case you were curious and let you guys know how and what I observed when I was putting this on my face. Um, minus the eyes because the eyes are actually a combination of the Celestial Witch from Electrum Cosmetics and just some like nude eyeshadows like on my eyes. So like it's not going to have an effect with that. 
For concealer, I did end up putting on the Tower 28 concealer. It's a very lightweight serum concealer. I didn't notice that it played around at all. It didn't move any of the foundation. I did apply it with the FO2 brush from Singe Beauty. This is their concealer brush. I love that brush. It's it's great for like really pressing the product into your skin and really getting a nice airbrush like concealer look. And it gives me a really nice like full coverage concealer look. I did end up concealing around here a little bit. Also like uh, down my nose just to get rid of a little bit more of the redness ironic because I put blush like all over my face <laughs> and then I also concealed a couple of those blemishes that we had pointed out earlier I did then go in with a bronzing wand from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Glow Contouring Wand. I do have a video using this, so go check it out. And then I also put on the Pillow Talk Matte Blush in Peach Pop. I love this blush. So I do have cream product on as well. I ended up setting my under eyes first with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. And with that, I just used a brush from Singe Beauty. I didn't actually use like a sponge or like a powder puff to press the product in. I used a brush this time, and it actually just created like a really nice airbrushed look and it doesn't look like super heavy super cakey that also played well all these products played really really well with the foundation I don't notice like any problems at all like it doesn't look like it's clinging funny it doesn't look like it moved the foundation around but I really wanted to put this foundation to the test and see how it layered with all of these products and I am just after looking at it, I have been sitting under these lights for, I want to say, at least 25, 30 minutes just putting the rest of my face on. It looks really pretty. Like, it does look like this beautiful, almost like soft glow, blurry effect to my skin. I am not noticing that it, like, is clinging funny to anything. I'm just noticing it's sitting on the skin really, really nicely, and it doesn't look, it doesn't look like I have a whole bunch of product on, which is good. I really do like it. So, so far this is what we are seeing with the with the product. I'm actually gonna do like a natural light so you guys can see what it looks like in natural light and kind of take in like everything that's going on. But right now under studio lights, it does not look bad at all. It actually looks really pretty. Like my skin looks really nice. Like I'm actually really thoroughly enjoying how, how nice my skin looks. Like, I'm 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 kind of liking this. So, we're going to pop on over into natural light. We are going to do a wear test. It's actually technically 10:55 in the af in the morning. I was going to say afternoon. It's 10:55 in the morning. So, it is almost 11 o'clock in the morning. We're going to try and get like a full 12-hour wear test in with this foundation today. Put it through the test. Um, I'm going to be outside a lot. I'm going to be going and running errands. I might be sweating a little bit because it's supposed to be a little bit warmer outside today. So we're going to see how this foundation holds up throughout the day. So let's hop into the natural lights and then go about the wear test for today. Okay. Hey everybody. So I wanted to show you what the foundation looks like in natural light. Now, the other day when I did a foundation wear test with the Urban Decay Face Bond, it was actually a very overcast day, which is actually really good for light because it filters the light and it creates that like soft focus effect that you get with like studio lights. Today, not a cloud in the sky, very sunny. So the light is going to actually be a little bit harsher today, but it will let you see the makeup in a different light as well. It's obviously... I mean, we're in May when we're filming this, so we're getting close to summer, but we're still in those spring months. So the lighting is going to play a factor in how my skin looks today. Just keep that in mind. So I wanted to sit down with y'all and show you exactly what it looks like in this light. It is a really good shade match for me. It matches perfectly well. In like the swatches that I showed you guys, it... I have a tan on my hands from mowing the grass. So, like, it is matched to my face, not necessarily my hands. It is a really good shade match for me. As far as, like, the actual, the way my skin looks, my skin is peeking through just a little bit. You can see it's clinging funny just a little bit around my nose, which we kind of pointed that out anyway, that I'm having a little bit of problem right now because of my allergies and, like, blowing my nose and all that kind of stuff. But if this is supposed to be transfer-proof... 
It should hold up through me blowing my nose throughout the day. So we will see what my nose looks like specifically at the end of the night because it's supposed to be transfer proof. Um, I just got done filming and my face still feels a little bit tacky and that's probably because of the hyaluronic acid and the power gripping primer that I used but overall it is really pretty I don't really notice that it's settling excessively into any of like my fine lines or my wrinkles or anything the under eyes look pretty smooth like this is what they typically look like but they do feel a little bit over accentuated in this light under the studio lights my skin looked so pretty <laughs> <laughs> we have studio lights like all the time I think that'd be awesome but overall I think it just looks really pretty it looks like my skin it does look kind of like this lit from within finish I do like how it layered with all the products that I put on so far so we're gonna go about my day like I said it's about 11 o'clock in the morning we're gonna try and do 12 hours of wear today and I really want to see how this like finishes I'm not noticing any kind of like oxidization either that's something that I like to make note about and I would usually notice it like right around in here and or around my lips and I don't see anything at all so the face bond oxidized around my lips so bad but it was also because it was a little bit darker than my skin tone but it even like you could tell that it was oxidizing because it was getting even darker as the day went on and it just it was not pretty at all but this so far like good shade match no oxidization it's not oxidizing from what I can tell and it looks really nice on the skin layered really nicely with cream and powder product so this is what it looks like in natural light it's really pretty very natural I love it. So um, we'll see how it looks throughout the day. We're four hours in. It's 3.18 p.m. So we have been wearing this for almost three and a half hours at this point. I have some thoughts because it's things that I'm noticing. I actually haven't looked in the mirror yet, but I have some thoughts about this foundation because I keep feeling my face and it's like feeling kind of oily. Um, in certain spots on my face that I typically don't get oil in. So I was noticing definitely right around in here, it felt a little bit like moist and oily. And it is, I did have to blow my nose. So that's a good point to make, but it did transfer off, pulled everything off my nose and it's really clinging funny in here, which we noted earlier. But we're four hours in, it's supposed to be long wearing. Um, it just feels like really oily, like right in here, which I typically don't get a lot of oil with. I mean, it still is holding up decently well, just mostly around the nose. It's like worn off and it's feeling just a little bit like oily, like right in here for some reason. I did eat lunch, had some coffee, so that could also be playing a role in it. But this is what the face is looking like in natural light. So it's it's holding together. Um, Like I said, it's just like right in here for some reason. I just felt a little bit like moist, like oily a little bit. So obviously we're going to keep wearing it for another couple hours, four hours six hours we'll find out and we'll see how it's wearing down throughout the day all right hey guys it's 10 54 at night so i've been wearing this for 12 hours and i have some thoughts because oh boy do i have some thoughts so you guys saw a couple of the check-ins throughout the day i did have to blow my nose quite a bit so i wanted to make note of that because there's a lot of wear like in here and it says it's supposed to be transfer proof so like in theory it shouldn't have like lasted throughout the day and it did not um I'm gonna give you guys a close-up in my studio lights of what my skin is looking like right now after 12 hours of wear and then we're gonna talk about all the problems that I see and observations throughout the day my skin right now 12 hours aware. I would definitely have to say it wore down kind of funny. In one of my earlier check-ins, I did realize like it was starting to feel kind of oily like right in here and that kind of went away. I didn't like repowder. I didn't redo anything. Like it's just, I've been wearing this all day. And one thing I'm really starting to notice is that right in here, the foundation lifted really bad. Um, obviously on my nose it lifted too because I was blowing my nose. But you can see like a distinct line here from where it just completely rubbed off. And then here as well, you can see where it clung really funny. 
and I don't know why. It's like it, I don't know if it's from like me eating and it got wet and then it resettled. I don't know, but it's definitely clinging really funny right in here. And again, it wore off like right in here too. And it looks like it's creased really bad, like right into my fine lines. It did start separating right here. You can see where it just, it really didn't wear down very well, like on my forehead. It looks like somebody went like this, but like nobody's been touching me on the face like all day today. And then it clung really funny to a spot right here that I didn't even know that like I had. The place where it just doesn't look very good is like my under eyes. It really sunk into my under eyes and like you can see creases in the foundation up in here. It wore off really bad and then over here it wore off really bad so and then up in here it like it's completely worn off for some reason right in here and I don't know why 12 hours of wear this really went through the ringer I actually had to be outside quite a bit today just like running errands and doing all that kind of stuff um obviously I had to blow my nose so like this portion of my face is very messed up <laughs> Like, it's kind of like what's expected after 12 hours. I didn't really notice it really breaking down like this, like around my forehead at the last check-in that I did. So that's really interesting. All of a sudden, it just, it just started breaking down really fast, I feel like. So after the four-hour mark, I really haven't checked my face very much since then. So like four hours in, great it still looked fine. Like five hours in, still looked fine. And then all of a sudden it just feels like it kind of like broke down. I'm going to do obviously more wear tests and I'll give you guys some more thoughts and opinions on this as I wear it a couple of more times to give you like a full review on this. But I am actually pretty impressed by how pretty it looked on my face when it first applied and how it did apply. It does not apply well with uh, my SPF though, which is not a good thing because this doesn't come with an SPF. So I would definitely have to find an SPF that like works with it or see if there was something in the initial like routine that I was doing that was making it break down and look really funny on my skin. With the power gripping primer, I definitely feel like that helped make it last a lot longer as well. And maybe that's why it looks so nice over here, whereas like in some of my other spots, it just doesn't look very good. Did I expect this to last for 12 hours? Absolutely not. I did not expect it to last for 12 hours. I think it lasted for probably six six to seven hours where it looked like really really good and then like I said it started to like really break down so again I will give you guys some more thoughts and opinions in like a speed review but so far I mean I do like the way that it initially looked it didn't wear down like too terribly much I think if I hadn't been blowing my nose so much this area would not be as affected I don't think it would have had as many problems this is from eating I don't know what this is from here who knows who knows? But I think it's a, a pretty decent wear test. I think it wore down decently well for the amount of time that I was wearing it. And it it definitely was a good shade match for me. So those are my first thoughts on this foundation. Thank you so much for watching and staying tuned to the end of this video. I hope you guys consider subscribing before you go, hitting that like button, ring your bell so that you guys get notified when I actually post again. And I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Have you tried this foundation? Are you curious about this foundation? So I'm exhausted.